So generators are located, it's the fourth button from the right. And these are kind of mostly full screen stuff that you can use um, for like backgrounds, um, real simple, quick, easy, drag and drop stuff. So let's see, I'm gonna delete my John Force guy too. I don't want him on there. And let's go to, let's for instance, let's select the backgrounds um, sub subset here. So we'll use Drift. Um, if you can't find Drift, there is a search feature at the very bottom of the generators section. You can just type in Drift, and it'll dynamically search and find it. And just click and drag it to the timeline. And you might get something that says, hey, your clip doesn't match your thing. But for this class, we'll just hit OK. So this is what Drift looks like. It's kind of cool. right? And it's just a background. It's, it's a very simple background that you can drag in, throw something on, and you know, be done with it. So then we can throw on some text. Right? So I could go back to my text generator, and I can throw, you know, let's say, basic 3D on there. Right? And remember, it has a transparent background, which means it's going to show through, and we're going to see the background that we chose through that generator. So if I play the timeline, how simple is it? Just throw some text on there, and, uh, and there's your background. I can click on it and go, upcoming lunch. Right, so it's very simple to make really quick text. Right. In fact, when you go to do video awards, how simple is it? You know, category two. Um, my commercial. You know, throw that at the beginning of your clips, and then throw in your commercial behind it. Boom, bang, done. Right. 